Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. Let's just dive right into the math here. It says a street vendor sells twenty five seventy worth of pretzels on Friday, thirty two thirty on Saturday, and thirty one eighty on Sunday. He spends a fourth of that money, so he's like you know getting rid of the money he just made over the weekend. How much money does he have left? So let's start off here by adding these three together. This seventy cents and thirty cents is going to give me one dollar. So I still have that eighty cents left over in my final answer there. Then we have the dollars, so we got five plus two plus one, so five and two. 2 is 7, plus another 1 is 8, plus that 1 is going to give me 9. Then we're going to have the 2 plus 3 is 5, plus another 3 is going to give me 8. So total, 89.80 is what's going in here. Now, we need, we, we spend a fourth of that, so I'm going to divide this by 4. All right, well, let's just do it the long way here of putting 4 in there. 4 goes into this guy 2 times evenly. 4 goes into that 2 times, but it has a 1. 4 goes into 18, what, 4 times with, what, uh, 2 left over? And 4 goes into 25 times. So this is going to be 1 fourth of this number here. Now, which one of these numbers looks like 89 minus 22? The closest you can see right off the bat would be in the 60s, so that's going to be this guy right here. And it turns out that is the final answer, D, 6735. 22 says a recruit has $30. He sold some camouflage socks for $3.95 a pair. How many pairs of socks can he buy? So first and foremost, looking at this $3.95, we have to essentially do 30 divided by $3.95. But here's the deal, like $3.95, we don't know what that is off the top of our head quickly. There's no calculator here, and the name of the game is speed. So we're just going to assume that this is four off the bat, all right? Now, keep in mind, it is five cents, so that means for every 20 of these we buy, it would be another dollar. So looking at this, we have 30 divided by four. That's a little bit more reasonable. I know 28 divided by four is going to end up giving me seven. And I would have $2 to spare. Now, the question is, that $0.05 cents off, will that give me enough to get another one to make us up to 8 But then again, I don't have to worry about that because 8 not even an option. So that means final answer here, I'm going to be going with B, 7. The biggest issue about this one is knowing how many ounces are in a pound because I feel like a lot of people don't know that off the top of their head. But 23 says a crate containing a puppy that weighs 60 pounds, 5 ounces, and a puppy weighs 43 pounds, 7 ounces. How much does the crate alone weigh? So essentially, you got a dog inside of this crate, all right, and you're trying to find how much the crate weighs, but you only have it with the dog in it and, with, and you have the dog alone. So what we need to do here is we need to do 60 pounds... Uh, five ounces minus that 43 pounds, seven ounces. All right. Now, looking at this, the first thing we're going to do is just subtract these pounds. So 60 minus that 43 is going to give me 17. But I can't do five minus the seven. I have to carry one over. Typically, we carry it over in like the tens place, but because there are 16 ounces in a pound, then that means that when I pull one of these over, I'm actually pulling over 16 to that 5. So 16 plus that 5. So I'm going to drop this 17 pounds down to 16 because I pulled the 16 ounces over. Now 16 plus that 5 is going to give me 21. Now I can do 21 minus that 7. So if I do 21 minus the 7, it's going to give me 14. So our final answer here should be 16 pounds and 14 ounces, which is option D. Number 24 says, in a manufacturing plant that produces new computers, there is a 0.15 or 15% probability exists that a computer will be defective. If five computers are manufactured, what's the probability that all of them will be defective? So if you know anything about probability, you would know that you would find the probability of all five of these being defective by taking the probability of each one of them, 0.15, times the probability of the next one, 0.15, and you would actually do this for each one. So there's a total of five of them. And the answer to this will be our final answer. Now, right off the bat, I can tell you this is going to be a really small number because we have five numbers here sitting after the decimal point. So it's just going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. So I'm in 
inclined to think that C or D will probably be correct. And I would probably guess D because it has the same 7, 6 as the one up in A. But let's go ahead and double check this by doing like a rounding off. Let's say 0.2 instead. All right, so this is a higher chance, so that means it should be a lower answer like so our answer by using 0.2 and i'm doing that because 0.15 times itself five times is a lot but 0.2 well that would just be two times two which is four so 0.04 times another 0.02 which or sorry by times another 0.2 which would be 0.008 then we got times another 0.2 which would be 0.0016 times another 0.2, which would be, what, 0 .000, 000 um, and then 16 times 2 is 3, 2. So already, with 0 0.2, I'm lower than the answer for C. So that means if there's only a 15% chance instead of a 20% chance, it'd be even lower than that. So my final answer here is definitely going to be D. Number 27 on the ASVAB shouldn't be anything too tricky. It says here that in a 60-minute gym class, 40 girls want to play volleyball, but only 10 can play at a time. For each player to get the same amount of playing time, how many minutes should each person play? So in this case, only 10 of these girls can be playing at a time. Now, th that's out of the 40 girls total. Now, if I divide, divide both the top and bottom by 10, that's going to tell me that one-fourth of these girls can play at a time. So if we're going to be splitting this guy into each girl, like, evenly, then that means that I need to find out what is one-fourth of 60, because then each girl will get one-fourth of that time, considering they, like, one-fourth of them can play at a time. So looking at this, what is 60 divided by 4? Well, if I cut 60 in half... That's going to take me down to 30. And then if I'm dividing by 4, it's just cutting it in half again. So that's going to bring me down to the 15. Meaning that each girl is going to get 15 minutes. Our answer here is D. Let's go ahead and take a look at number 28. It says the video rental store charges $2 for the first day of a rented video is overdue and $1.25 for each day after that. If a person paid $8.25 in late fees, how many days was the video overdue? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go ahead and start at $8.25 and start subtracting off for each day. So for day number one that it is overdue, we are subtracting $2. Now this is the specialty day. The rest of them are $1.25. So let's go ahead and do that that's going to bring us down to 625 then after that on day two we are subtracting 125 so 625 minus 125 is going to bring us down to five even then from there let's go ahead and start over here a bit we're going to do five on day three minus the 125 is going to bring us down to 375 and then on day four subtracting that 125 again that's going to bring us down to 250 and then on day five it's going to bring us down to 125 and on day six we're finally going to hit zero so it looks like they're going to go ahead and finally pay off this debt on the sixth day and that's going to get them a fee total of 825 so that's going to be answer b janet is trying to watch her weight a half cup of pudding has 150 calories. The same amount of broccoli has 60 calories. How much broccoli can Janet eat to equal the same number of calories in the half cup of pudding? All right, so here's the deal. It says that 150 for the pudding is in a half cup, and half cup of broccoli is 60. So if I do 60 plus 60, that's going to give me 120, and that would be a half a cup plus a half a cup, which is one full cup. Now, we are not at that 150 yet, so we can go a little bit further. But notice, if we add another one half, that would be adding another 60, that would put us at one and a half, but it would put us at 180, which is higher than the 150 we have. So if I cut this one half cup in half, in other words, doing one fourth by dividing by two again, then that would cut this 60 in half as well. So it would cut it down to 30. So one fourth of a cup of broccoli is 
30 calories. So now if I add the 30 to this 120, then that would put me at an even 150, which is what we we're looking at. So now I have one plus that one fourth cup is going to be one and one fourth, which is answer D. Don't get wrecked by number 30. Let's find out how. It says the neighbor's dog barks at a squirrel every 15 minutes at night. If he first barks at 10 p.m. when you're trying to fall asleep, how many times will he bark by 2 a.m. when you give up trying to sleep and decide to read a book instead? So let's take a look here. There is a little bit of a trick to this one, so stick with me. Every 15 minutes. So the first thing is uh, how many 15 minutes are there in one hour? So uh, one hour is 60 minutes. 60 minutes divided by that 15 means that hey, every hour there are going to be four barks. Um, now, a quick way of doing that would just be 15 plus 15 is 30. Two 30 is giving 60, so that's a total of four times. Now, we are going from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., so that would be 10 to 11 would be 1, to 12 would be 2, then to 1 a.m., and then to 2 a.m. So that's a total of four hours. So we have four times every hour times the four hours. That's going to give me a total of 16 times this dog's going to be barking. But wait, that's if we're splitting each one of these hours into 15, which we are splitting them into 15-minute intervals, but that does not count the very first time that bo dog barked at 10 p.m., meaning you actually have to add one more to this for that very first bark that didn't happen in any of the 15 minutes. So 16 plus that one is going to end up giving us 17 for a final answer of C. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.